welcome to iOS SDK Tutorials. Um, I'm Andy Roth here, and uh, we're going to today make a simple application which allows you to move a little happy face around the screen. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to Google happy face, um, and we'll go to images. We'll just find uh, really anything. I'm going to search for a PNG because uh, I like that they don't have backgrounds that they're uh, transparent. Uh, so let's see, this one's not, but it doesn't matter. So uh, grab any image of a happy face and rename it to uh, happy.jpg, happy whatever. Um, and what we're going to do is open Xcode, create a new project, uh, select view-based application, choose, and we're just going to say uh, simple move. Uh, and so now, um, what you want to do is you want to drag this, uh, actually you want to, um, this little arrow, just click it, and then resources, click that one, and drag happy dot whatever to, uh, resources, and if you select copy images into destinations group folder, that will actually copy it into this project folder, and that can sometimes be helpful, but sometimes that's not. So uh, for now, I'm going to select that, and I'll just delete this one, because it automatically copied into there, which is nice. So um, here it says nib files. Uh, open that, and you'll see simple move view controller. Uh, double click that, and this will come up. And just drag a, an image view in here. If you don't see this, then it's actually tools and then library. And then if you don't see this one, it's tools, and then it's inspector. And so with this, we're just going to drag it down to a good size, maybe uh, like that. And for the image, we'll just select the happy one. And so there it is. Uh, though, this, um, this is cool, but, um, you know, that's it. It needs to be running on iPhone. Uh, so let's go to the code. Um, the hard part. So the classes file will just go to uh, simple move h and we'll drag this little thing up so we can see. Uh, and here, just in uh, the .h, just say ib outlet ui image view, and then call it whatever you want right here. Happy view. I'll call it happy view. You could name it cheese view. You could name it whatever cat view. I don't know. Um, so click on Files Owner, and uh, you'll see this little arrow. Click on that, and under Outlets, you'll see Happy View. Just take this. This is the cool part. Take this uh, little thing here and drag it over to this. You'll see it'll highlight in blue box, and let it go, and then save that, and close out. And so um, the and just and you see all this. Uh, between this implementation uh, line and all the way down to this end line right here, you can delete all that and just leave it like that. Um, and so the way to find our next part of code is actually a very helpful thing of Xcode, which is uh, up here if you go to help, and then uh, the quick help, it'll load up this thing. And what you can do is you can start typing. So we'll type in UI responder. And you'll see right here it automatically tells you what it does. And right here, it gives you the .h file. So click on that. And right here, there's two things that we need. And this, uh, these are two methods. We can close out of that. And replace UI Responder with these two. And then replace that semicolon uh, with two uh, braces. Um, and this method says touches began. And this one says touches moved. The one that says touches began, um, that's when you actually touch the screen. And touches moved is when you uh, move that. So uh, let's start. So in touches began, we're gonna create a new UI touch. We're gonna call it, uh, you know, touch. And uh, we'll say it touches. Um, and so this touch equals touches, and then any object. Uh, there's only gonna be one in here because we only have this project set up to do uh, single touches, not multi multi touch. But uh, so for now. For this simple application, 
we just have one touch. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, remember this happy view? We're going to do that and we're going to say set. Here, you can take a look. Set center. And the center will be touches, location, and view. Oh, no, no, touch uh, for this. We say location and view, self dot view. And so uh, and we got to add two of those. And so what this does is it says uh, UI touch. It creates a new touch object with um, from this. There's only going to be one in there, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then we're setting the happy view center to be the location, the X and Y values of uh, it says location and view. And the view that we're using is uh our view, so self dot view, um, and so we can build and run that um, by clicking this. Um, and what will happen is it'll load up in the iPhone simulator. It's like a little emulator of an iPhone uh, once it's done building, and you can check if there's an error or not uh, over at the build results right here. And it tells you what it's doing, so it's pre-compiling. Blah blah blah. Um, and you can also see there's a little like pie chart thing down here, and that tells you uh, how far it has compiled. So you know, this is taking a long time to compile. Um, so again, build and run it. Okay, so now it says uh, linking and then it says building, and now it's installing in the simulator. Um, so here's the simulator. Uh, looks exactly like an iPhone. Not really. Um, and it'll load up. And you'll see now we can touch in anywhere, and our smiley will move. But if we move our cursor, it doesn't do anything. And uh, so what we can do is, instead, we have this one method that says touches began. That's only when a touch hits the screen. Now we can say touches moved, too. We copy and paste that code in there. Build and run it again. And now, instead of um, just being when it begins, it, you'll also see a touch event. Uh, you'll also see that thing move again um, when you just move it. So there we go. Um, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, I, uh, hope you stay tuned and you'll, uh, watch our next tutorial. Um, thank you. Uh, you can leave a comment, you can rate it, you can subscribe. Uh, please subscribe. And, uh, that's it. Uh, bye.